Well, the day is finally here. And what better day than New Year's Day? Yes, indeedy. We are entering the stratosphere. Four years in the making and uh, 40 years in the waiting, probably, <laughs> since I was a kid. Uh, yes, we are going down to Phoenix, Ricky Booby and I, uh, to test drive the Stratus. With my dear friend David at the ready, uh, following us around all day, uh, because something is bound to uh, break or fall off or stop working or not start working. And um, so, yeah stay tuned and there's that 3d printed air filter kind of um fitting for uh, the placement where we've got it and of course there's plenty of room under that rear that beautiful rear clamshell and mikey's decided to fit an extraordinarily large fuel filter yeah with the car so that should do oh, the really? job right oh so that's the list of bell part yeah so it's still list so you, really as you may be able to tell, Ricky is, Booby to, is so uh, wait, is that easy to the, buy or uh, not? Battery distribution um, block. They make similar that, ones. Uh, that's the bell provide. Easy to buy. Okay. Just on there's the all sorts of things on. You'd be anyway, enough of that BS. Let's fire it up. You heard right? Yeah. Only on video. Just on video. Yeah. That's a nice well, that's mode, isn't it? Pretty easy. Right. Oops. And there's the completed dashboard, uh, complete with switches. Yeah, we found them at a normal uh, electrical supplier. They're not X19, and they're not Lister Bell replicas. And uh, Mike assures me that that's his best handwriting for the labeling. How's the uh, yeah. cars about? Some of the pulleys and belts have proved problematic uh, due to Lister Bell remounting or repositioning the mounts for AC uh, compressors, etc. So we've had a little bit of trouble locating belts that might work and using alternative pulleys just to stretch them uh, and uh, as you see there have been some squeals and squeaks sadly at some point on the air intake this hose got split and uh, they're not easy to find i have to tell you temporary solution for the air intake so the location of the dipstick is uh, not exactly desirable Oh, spin it round and back in. Yeah. <coughs> okay. That made sense. So we bled the clutch, we're talking the wheels, fixed the various oil breather hoses and air intake, and kind of got the dashboard on four out of five bolts. You know me, that's good enough, at least four this monumental first occasion under its own power. Ah yes, my favourite, the plasma cutter. Yeah, we're just cutting a mount for the license plate. the license plate and um, yeah rear visibility is uh, oh, poor as you can see yeah
lift, did it? Was that the lift kit that you bought? Yeah. From Desert Lat Racing? Yeah. Foot higher than it should be, yeah? Well, I made it down there despite chronic back pain, I have to tell you. And <laughs> luckily nobody videoed me getting in the car because it was quite the performance. And uh, yes, she took her first baby steps. There are a few niggles, as you can only expect, uh, including a squeaky fan belt. <laughs> yeah, uh, we still haven't found the right kind of pulley belt size combination uh, to get the alternator fully functioning. Keep you posted on that one. Okay, test run number two, because I took it up the road and back. We found the oil leak, a few little water leaks that we've tightened up hoses. Mikey take him for a spin with David. And there's Ricky Booby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least he didn't spin it. <laughs> So we've got a little bit of an oil leak which is coming off the uh, off the valve cover up the top there on the back edge. Turns out the oil leak is because uh, despite the powder coating process and everything else, the rocker covers were put on with 30% of the old gasket left on. Yes, I'm not sure who uh, didn't notice that, but uh, it's been rectified. So that's all been taken care of, along with a few other things like um, dislocating uh, door handle cables and uh, things like that. So we come up with some better solutions for the inside of the door, which Mike found while he was mounting the mirrors. So as usual, thanks for watching in a particularly exciting episode where it took its first baby steps. I hope you're as excited as I am. Probably not. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. There'll be further news and further test driving. Very short, of course, encourage others to watch my lunacy.